My ultimate goal at this stage of the project is to get the motor, inverter and all the cables ready to go in the car. However, I'm still stuck with this parking pole and in this video I've decided to focus on this and make sure I can really get it released because otherwise it's really annoying when I'm trying to do the testing and it's kind of drifting back. By rotating this mechanism I could never get it to release properly. So really I wanted to focus on this and get it sorted out. Hello, I'm Ed and I'm building an electric car conversion. I've spent a few weeks working on the Toyota Prius inverter and the open inverter board. The challenge I set myself is to build an electric car conversion on the budget. Therefore, I was choosing components for my project very carefully. So far, I managed to purchase an inverter at a very good price. And now I acquired Toyota Prius gearbox, aka my electric motor. Completed FOC tuning. I need to release my motor from the shackles of the parking pole and get it up and running. Right, I've taken this apart and it looks like this is the the part that is driving the gear and so this looks like a BLDC type of motor with magnets and I think those those things there are Hall effect sensors. I suspect I could be able to run it with the just a normal BLDC driver type of board which I think I'm gonna try. I just need to get the pin out of this connector here and get that sorted out. I may want to try one of these micro drive boards available on Amazon and eBay. The benefit is that it's already made and there are connections for three phase motor here and hall sensors as well. Um, so you have option to change the direction. So please let me know in the comments if you think it's it's a good um, good idea to try this board. But I basically I think how it works is the the motor sits here. And those things are basically drive the there we go and I think that's what it does is basically when it's driven yeah it basically winds in the parking brake and I think the problem was that what I was doing I was basically rotating I was rotating it like this and effectively that that bit here was rotating itself but not actually not actually engaging the not engaging the parking pole so I think what I should try I should just remove this bit well not this bit I think this bit here can't get it out now. I yeah. think what I should do, I should just try to get this bit here and just rotate the parking pole in this way, like this, and then I'm sure it will work. Or maybe just this bit here, but it may be better to to have a bit more torque if I have it all assembled like this. And this should 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 really do it. Well, let's try it. As planned, I coupled the rotor bit together with the shaft and inserted it into the parking pole actuator and it was uh, appeared to be a bit tight at first but then once I applied a bit more force I managed to um, get it in place and I can hear that parking pole is definitely clicking and engaging and disengaging. So this will allow me to run my motor without any distractions of uh, getting worried that parking pole will snap back into place and stop it. Right, I'm now finishing the connection of the um, my project box. I've now connected contactors. This is the main contactor here and connection goes to the power supply. 
and this is the pre-charge contactor that's we have a resistor here so in the last one of the last videos I, I've done all that just um, today I finished the battery connection here and this connection for the pre-charge contactors and connecting the inverter plus and minus so this is our battery supply but so I'm still using the power supply in this case right so the power supply is on now I apply the voltage switching high voltage power supply that is on and we can now apply the power to the inverter and to the box the contactor is on also this is goes through pre-charge at the moment and now I press start and this should hopefully start it in inverter and now I should be able to try applying my throttle so I'll put it somewhere here so you could see it okay so that means parking pole is engaged right so I need to try and disengage it now okay I think we need to go this way yeah I think that's that's disengaged okay now now I pulled back a little bit so I brought back the throttle pedal wow look at that it's wonderful trying to do the throttle so I think if if I apply throttle more progressively It works very well but if I just apl apply too fast I think it's probably I need to do just a fine tuning 